Following Palpatine's final death, Karna Jax seized the Imperial throne. However, the Imperial fleet was left rudderless without orders from their Emperor. They retreated from the Core Worlds, and the Empire quickly crumbled. Many fleet commanders refused to follow Jax and his interim ruling council, and they broke away to form various warlord holdings. Jax's Crimson Empire thus held a small territory, limited to a narrow band of space that stretched from the Outer Rim to the colonies. It was the only territory still answerable to centralized imperial control. Not long after the New Republic had reclaimed Coruscant from the Dark Empire, after its fall, the New Jedi Order was created by Luke Skywalker in the Jedi Praxium on Yavin 4, where he became the Order's first Grand Master. This had undone Palpatine's extermination of the Jedi Order, that had began with the formation of the Empire in 19 BBY. When Jax was killed by his fellow former guardsman Keir Karnos, the aristocrat Burr Nolads took control of the ruling council. He was soon killed by Nominor, an ally of Councillor Zandal Caravus who was aiding Caravus's plans to become the new head of the council. Anor was secretly an advance agent of the extra-galactic Yuzhan Vong species, and, unknown to even Caravus, he was targeting the council in order to hasten the Empire's collapse in advance of a massive Yuzhan Vong invasion of the galaxy. Caravus was elected the new head of the council, but he soon disbanded the council and declared himself the new emperor. When the New Republic attacked his power base on Ord Cantrell and he was killed by Carnos, utter collapse of imperial authority followed, and the empire ceased to exist.